All right guys, so some more LC maintenance going on. We're gonna be changing out the front differential bushings, at least two of them. So after greasing the drive shaft, I still noticed from like reverse to drive and so forth, there's a, a bit of a clunk or a thud going on. So I looked into the, what could possibly be the next cause and people are saying it's these bushings. All right, so let me show you the bushings that we're gonna be replacing today. So we're gonna be replacing this bushing. However, I'm going to be replacing this whole arm. You can just replace the bushing that's inside here. However, it is very, very difficult even with a bushing press and I don't have one of those. So I'm not about to challenge myself there. I went ahead and spent the extra money for this piece to get this whole entire piece so that'll be replaced the other one is this one here toyota doesn't sell the just the bushing they sell this entire front piece here but that would cause you to have to take this entire thing off which would drain the fluids and all that stuff i'm not about to do all that there's a different way to do it you could take this bushing out it is going to be a pain so i'm not looking forward to it however you can get it out and we will get it out and then we'll put a new one in there and then a new top bushing as well so those are the only two that i'm going to be replacing there is however one more more spot that you might want to consider. All right, so this is the one that's on the back of the diff. This one is usually fine. They say that you probably just want to replace the top bushing and not the whole thing. You can replace the whole thing if you'd like. Again, this might be a situation where if you don't have a press, you might just want to buy the whole arm from Toyota. I'm going to leave this one alone for now. If I still notice issues, I'll go ahead and buy the top piece and we'll change it out later. All right, so we're going to go ahead and work on the front one first because I feel like it's going to be the most difficult. So first thing you want to do is make sure you support your front diff by putting your jack up to it and then we're going to go ahead and unbolt it and take it apart this is going to be the difficult part is getting the bushing out so the old bushing is going to go in the trash so we're going to end up actually demolishing it all right it's jacked up and i soaked all the, the bolts and everything with some pb blaster so that's barely any effort and that's moving quite a lot yeah it's quite a bit of play there seems like it shouldn't be that easy all right, so let's talk about the parts that you're going to need real quick. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Um, okay, so obviously you're going to need 19 mil, at least a wrench and then a socket. Um, I'm going to use an impact gun. You're going to need a Torx wrench when you put these back together. Uh, you want to make sure that they're to torque. It be, should be 137 for everything. Some grease to help you get the new bushing back in. Rubber mallet, I don't even know. This hammer. The roughest part is going to be trying to chisel out the piece. So I have these things. If you can get it on your hands on an air chisel, uh, that's going to change the game. I don't have one of those, so uh, wish me luck. It's really going to suck. But yeah, anyways, some heat. Heat's been my friend so far, so I think it's my help in this situation. We'll see. PB Blaster, of course. This to get help you get the new bushing back in. I got this on Amazon. So this is going to be the one I'm going to be using to help press in that new bushing. So here are the actual parts. Uh, these are the bushings. So this is the top part, uh, tab 334 from for best. The other one is going to be 332. So this is the one that we're gonna have to be basically demolishing uh, the old one. And this is the new replacement one. So you can go Toyota OEM if you want to, but it's a lot more expensive. Uh, the best definitely had the best deals. And I actually got them through Amazon. All of the things that I use here, I'll link down below. And here's the other, the top piece there. Somewhere like this. And then this piece. I actually got it on eBay, so it's like straight from Japan, which is like really cool. They like wrapped it in this Japanese newspaper, which is kind of cool. Uh, here's the part number for this one. This should be an easy install. I think I covered everything that we're going to need. Obviously, if we use anything else during this process, then you'll probably see me using it. But definitely want to make sure that you have at least these things. Bring on the suck. All right, so I use this. Gives you lots of leverage, you're gonna need it. And I was able to break it loose. What's terrifying me is because I have like PTSD from this is that sometimes when I think I got a bolt loose, it's actually broken, it snaps off. And I really don't know what the f I'm gonna do if this bolt snaps off. All right, it's getting a lot easier now. It's loosening up now. Whew, thank you, Lord. All right, I'm gonna use the impact on it now that it's loose. All right, watch this. I was like, yeah, this doesn't really look too bad. And then I did this. Look at that. That's terrible. That's not good at all. I almost be able to rip it out of there. It's so bad. This definitely needed to be changed. All right, let's tear that out of there. I'm probably gonna cut the center piece out. That way when I am chiseling and stuff and not getting any kind of resistance, I can chisel through and not bounce back off this rubber. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna actually cut that out, but uh, we'll figure it out. All right, guys, little update. Still trying to get the center out. 
as being a pain, but we're getting there. Starting to get this little top piece to slide out. I just lowered it down a little bit on the jack, and this is about to come out. So I'm just gonna keep working at this, and I'll update you guys uh, once I get that middle out. Whew, guys, we did it. We got the center out. That was hard enough as it is. So basically, I kept using these scissors. These are like decently heavy duty scissors, and kind of going around and cutting a little bit, a little bit. And then I was just prying it around. I finally got up in there behind it, pried it real good, and it popped out a big hole there, which should give us some space to start hammering this thing in. The real fun begins. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and start chiseling away. All right, guys, just a little update of where we're at right now. Uh, yeah, the other thing is in there. It's like rusted up in there. This is this is awful. It's going to take a couple hours probably to get this out, but we're getting closer. I don't even know if you can make out what's going on here, but <laughs> it's a mangled mess. Whew. <laughs> so, basically, guys, um, it's not coming out. <laughs> In like four hours at least basically kept going out of this way eventually the metal just started peeling instead of like folding back and it broke off and now all i have left is this lip on the back here which i'm trying to salvage to help me pry it out of there that's really the only hope i have left otherwise i really don't know how else i'm going to get it out and now i wonder if i should never took the rubber out in the first place in the middle thought it would help me but i think it worked against me in a sense still in there still fighting me all right just gonna continue let you know if i ever get it out all right guys after several hours it's about to come out I'm so glad it's over. Is it really gone? Am I hallucinating? There it is. This evil thing here. It's just miserable. Look at this. Look where I try to smash it in. So I tried to smash it in on the sides here and it just wasn't budging at all. And it ended up just snapping off these edges. Yeah. Finally able to pry. I was literally like using all of my strength. I even used my legs to like pry to put pressure on the pry bar. Pry it out of there and it wasn't even budging. Finally I got it down to enough to where you saw me starting to hammer the side and it, it came out. It came loose. Oh dude you have no, no idea how frustrating that was. Maybe you do but it was miserable guys. Get the right tools because that was just horrible. However it just goes to the show. It can be done with basic household tools. It's gonna take you a long time, but it can be done. There's a bunch of crap on the lens too. Shop life. All right, what's next? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and keep pushing forward. 19, 19, 19, and then that one's 19 on the other side. So you're gonna need your uh, extra wrench to hold one side. All right, so I was able to get this, these all loose, broke them loose. So finally got that one. Gonna get this one off first. And then there actually is a nut behind each one of these. So I'm gonna have to find a way to get the wrench back there so it holds it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and get this piece off. All right, so if you notice the uh, bolt's a little snug, take the pry bar, lift it up. Just find the right sweet spot. There we go. That's one. Let's get these other two out. All right, we got it out. So here's the old one. Here's the new one. We're gonna do this first because I wanna have enough space where I can lower it down so that we can press it into place. Let's do this. All right, so I cleaned up the area really good. You definitely wanna use some grease, all right? So I'm just gonna use some all-purpose grease and you wanna to try to get it as straight as possible. Twenty-two millimeter. She's in! Woo! Alright, so this and all the other ones are all gonna be torqued down to 137 foot pounds. <clears throat> well, battery's gonna die. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so where I left you off yesterday, we were bolting everything back on. So I bolted everything to spec. The camera unfortunately died. However, I did notice a, uh, a pretty significant improvement. Um, I do 
want to change out the the cv axles here sometime in the near future as well with those bushings being out and everything it probably put a lot of wear on them so i definitely want to get to uh, changing those out before they go bad however we are done with that project i will tell you this it was hell not having the right tools if you want to make it easier on your life get the right tools get an air chisel or the proper chisel i mean i was using some basic flooring tool you know it wasn't really anything that you were really supposed to be using for this but it worked um it took me hours i think the main thing was that took me so long is that it's a very awkward place to be literally like maybe foot and a half off the ground or something and it's just not enough space to really work in so it's really tight so if you have a lift too if you have access to a lift or something like that to get it off the ground that would also make it a lot easier on you i think combination of all that stuff made it really frustrating and long um, but i did get it out yeah uh that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video hopefully kind of gave you some insight on what it's going to be like if you go to take this job on yourself yeah smash that like button for me and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace. I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but I swear she never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you laugh to know it That's the stuff that I love, love